Welcome. Today we are going to be doing a no squat leg workout. Now I know that knees can be um, a problematic area and people can get super sore knees, especially doing things like um, squats and lunges. So I thought today I'd put together a little 12 minute workout again, focusing on ways that we can work our glutes and our quads without doing any kind of squats or lunges. So we are going to be using the Tabata format again. So we're gonna be doing four minute circuits. Each exercise we're gonna do for 20 or 30 seconds. There's gonna be an option to have a 10 second rest um, if you need it. Um, and um, it's gonna be short, sharp, take it at your own pace as long as you are pushing yourself, as long as you are pushing the boundaries of your comfort zone. It absolutely doesn't matter. You just wanna make sure that you're giving yourself a really good workout. So what we're gonna need, ideally, um, is a resistance band like this. Um, if you don't have one, if you've just got one of those long Pilates ones, you can just tie it in a knot and put it around your legs. That will work absolutely perfectly. For the first exercise, we are going to need um, some kind of bench or the side of a bed or sofa or seat, something that you can rest your head on. Okay, so we're just gonna do a little warm up um, and then we're gonna get into um, our workout. And the warm up, we're just gonna do uh, a couple of minutes of uh, step burpees, okay? And we're gonna get faster and faster as we go. So we're just gonna start, okay? Finding our neutral, so if you tend to have an anterior tilt or you tend to have a posterior tilt, Play around with where your neutral spine is, shoulders back and down, elongating up through the spine. You're then going to position your hands onto your elevated surface. You're going to step back, step back, step in, step in, step up. Okay, and I really want to see your arms coming up. That lifting the arms up above the head is going to drive your heart rate up, which is what we want to have happen. Okay, so let's go take it at your own pace. <sighs> Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Nice and slowly to begin with. Remember, we're just warming up. We're not gonna go straight into jumping up and down. Good. Good, keep it going. In a few seconds, I'm gonna give you the option to add a little bit of a jump. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, and now if you would like to, you can put your hands down, you can jump your legs back, jump your legs in, up standing. You can even jump your legs out, jump your legs in, jump up. If you want to, if your knees can take it. If not, feel free to stick with me into the step version, absolutely fine. We're gonna speed it up just a little bit though. Good, keep it going. Good, and now you're gonna continue here. I'm gonna show you our first two exercises. Okay, we're gonna take our resistance band and we're gonna put it just above our knees, okay? And then we're gonna position our upper back onto our stool or our bench or whatever it is we're using. We're then going to drive our bottom down, okay? And then we're gonna drive it up with a squeeze of the glutes at the top. So we're going down and up. You may find that your toes come off the floor. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so this is gonna be our first 20 or 30 seconds. <clears throat> We're then gonna go into exercise two. We're gonna come down onto the mat, keeping the band over our knees. We're gonna position our head, so we've just got a little tuck between uh, our chin and our chest. We're then going to tilt the pelvis, so we've got no gap between our back and the mat. And then we're gonna exhale, we're gonna bring our buttocks up, we're gonna open our knees, we're gonna close our knees, and we're gonna go back down into the bridge. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, we're gonna do that at the pace that works for us. Making sure that we're opening our knees as wide as feels comfortable. Okay, so those are our first two exercises. So get into position for exercise number one, resting your upper back, and your head onto the surface, resistance bands just above the knees. We're going to go into those resistance band elevated bridges right now. Sit, squeeze the buttocks at the top, <clears throat> get nice and low. 
and then nice and high. A good range of movement here, pushing through the heels. Good, option to take a rest if you need one. Good, exercise two, come down onto the mat. Place the neck, tilt the pelvis, there's no gap between your back and the mat. Driving the buttocks up, opening the knees. Option to take a rest before we go into round two. Good work, well done. We're coming back up, we're going to round two. Position yourself on the, on the chair. Nice and low with the buttocks, squeezing them at the top. Push through the heels as you drive the pelvis up. Option to take a break. Good job. Down onto the mat. Take a gap out from your back of the mat. And we're driving up, opening the knees and down. Take a break if you need one. 10 more seconds, everybody else. Good, round three. Getting into position. Take a break if you need one. Good job. Down onto the mat. Take a gap up between your back and the mat. Drive up, open, and down. Keep breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Take a break if you need one. We're nearly there. One more round after this. Good job. <clears throat> Fourth and final round. Really give them a good squeeze at the top. <sighs> Driving them up. Should be able to feel really good glute activation here. Take a break if you need one. Good job. <clears throat> onto your side, rolling onto your back. Remove the gap. show your next two exercises. You don't need the resistance band anymore, so you can take that off. So, I'm actually just gonna remove this stool because we don't need that anymore either. Good, so the first one we're gonna do, the kneeling squats, okay. So, we're going to place our feet together behind us and we're gonna sit down onto our calves. From here, we're gonna come up Squeezing the glutes at the top and down. Up, squeeze and down. I'll show you what that looks like from the side. So a nice wide position with the knees. Okay, we're maintaining our neutral spine. We're coming up, squeeze at the top and down. Up, squeeze the buttocks at the top and down. Good, if you want to make it harder, you can grab some weights, put them on your shoulders or you can hold one under your chin. Absolutely fine to increase the 
the pressure, that's fine. So that's going to be our first exercise. The second exercise, we're coming back down. We're going to do a variation on a bridge. So we're going to put our feet together. So the balls of our feet are together. Okay, and we're going to go into a bridge. So squeezing and releasing. Squeezing and releasing. Okay, and that's our second exercise. Okay, so let's get into it. Four minutes, same format as before. Getting down into that position. You can have quite a nice wide position or you can have it slightly narrower. Doesn't really matter, just work with what feels good for your body. Okay, four minutes. Let's go. We're up, we're down. Take it at your own pace. Really get a good squeeze on those glutes. Option to take a rest if you'd like one. Good, come down onto the mat. Balls of the feet pressing in together. We're squeezing and releasing. Really drive those glutes up in the air. It's a really nice isolating exercise this one. Your, bot your buttocks have to do the work. Option to take a rest if you want one. Round two. Coming up onto your knees. We're driving up and down. Good work. Keep it going. Think about that glute activation. We're not shoving our hips forwards and leaning backwards. We're not doing that. We're literally just activating the glutes. Good work. Good. We're going into those frog bridges. Onto your side, onto your back, balls and feet together. And up we go. Take a break if you need one. Good job. We're going into round three. It is flying by. Ready into the kneeling position. Squeeze and release. Good. Squeeze and release. Take a break if you need one. So good. Few more seconds. Good job. Back into those frog bridges. Good job, rest if you need. Okay, fourth and final round. Squeeze and release. Remember, we're not thrusting our pelvis forwards. We're just squeezing those glutes. You'll be feeling it in your thigh muscles as well. Rest if you need. We're nearly there. Keep pushing yourself. Good. Okay, final 20 or 30 seconds of exercise. Balls of the feet together. You're doing so well. seconds if you can. So nearly done. And you are done. Good work. Grab some water. I'm going to show you your final two exercises and then you are done. You've got four minutes left. Stick with me. I promise you it's worth it. Okay, final two exercises. 
We're coming into the all fours position. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. You're going to extend the leg back and you're going to flex that foot and you're going to kick and kick. What I don't want to see is this. Okay, we're not shifting the position of the hips. The hips are staying parallel to the ground at all times. We're flexing the foot and it could just be quite a small movement if you want to do more of a pulse. That's absolutely fine. Or you could do more of a kick. Also excellent. Okay, and then obviously the next exercise, exercise number two, we're doing the other side. Really think about engaging the core, keeping that core from moving so you're not swinging side to side. Okay, you're really just working those glutes. Those are your two exercises. Four minutes left. Let's get into it. Into position. Zip up the core, flex that foot. Flex that foot, zip up the core. Really concentrating on keeping the hips parallel. Good work. Take a rest if you need one. Change sides. Zip up that core, flex the foot. Keep those hips parallel to each other. As your knee comes down, it should fit straight back into place. Good job. Take a rest if you need one. Good job. Other side, you're into round two. Zip up that core, flex that foot. Keep pushing, change sides, reset your position, engage the core. <clears throat> Good work. One. Break if you need it. Oh, the feet should be firing. Third round, reset. Flex the foot. Up we go. So nearly there. Keep going. Change sides. Reset your position. Engage the core. Going into our final round in three, two, and one. Give it your all. We are so nearly there. Nice, deep, even breathing. Option to take a rest in three, two, one. Rest if you need. Three, two, one, change sides. Final 20 or 30 seconds of exercise. Oh, my glutes. I'm gonna be feeling this tomorrow, I promise you. Five more seconds, you can take a rest. Three, two, 
One, you can keep going for the final ten. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, release. Good work. Grab some water. We're going to stretch, and then you are done. Woo. Excellent work. Well done. We're going to get a nice long stretch of those glutes. They've worked super hard today. Rolling onto your back. You're going to bring one foot up over the knee. You're going to exhale. You're going to bring that knee up. Support the leg with your hands. And then on the exhale, you can bring the knee slightly closer into the body, feeling that lovely stretch all the way down the glute. You're going to hold here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're then going to change sides, doing exactly the same on the other side. Increase the stretch on the exhale. Let that breathing even out. We're here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're now going to roll onto our sides. Get into a comfortable position. You're going to grab that top foot. Keep the knees together. You're just going to stretch through the quad. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Push yourself up. We're going into the other side. That's it. Grab that top foot. Lying down. Keep those knees parallel. And five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Give those legs a shake. And you are done. Well done. 12 minutes. Super fast, but a really effective exercise. Um, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you soon.